Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a puffer, huh? It's a puffer. Galloway's. Bob me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. Good morning and happy Monday. Good morning. Good Good afternoon. Afternoon. Stopped at a little Safeway, got us a little bit of breakfast. Woke up to beautiful views. 78. We are 40 minutes outside of Monument Valley. Which is going to be a first for us, so it'll be a first for everybody in the van. We're going to feed our faces and hit the road and see some... Get some views. Gorgeous views. Everybody ready? Ready. 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 About to cross ready. into Utah Going too. To Monument Valley is Utah Arizona border, so we'll be in Utah soon. Enjoy the views. Ladies and gentlemen, if you couldn't tell, we have arrived at the beautiful Arches National Park here in Utah. The first national park that we will be visiting here in Utah. And the views, obviously, are pretty indescribable. 360 degrees all the way around. Gorgeous. Kayla's currently making everyone's sandwiches in the van back there. So this national park is over 2,000 years old, and behind me it says there was at one point two arches right here between these two rocks. What happened to them? It says they've fallen. So they, you can see spot more fallen air arch locations. Look for curved bases and columns or walls. So at the top of the right one, you can see where it was once connected. It just says they've fallen. Yes. <laughs> What? You said this side. <laughs> I called him bickering. No, Got it on camera. He's on the wrong side. Do you hear that? See? that under all of this was sand, or salt dunes. Under the arches? Yeah, like under the whole park. Hey boys and girls. Hey. Back at arches, at the windows. Last year when we were here, we got pretty wet. It was raining. <laughs> I forgot. Obviously, as you can see now, the weather has drastically changed. It is a brisk 100 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> got the parents back there somewhere.
bathroom, there's one hole in the ground. Yeah, it's an outhouse. No, where you stand over it. What? And pee. And then the other one, when you pee, you get a breeze up your... Please delete them. Please delete them. The cover's on it anyways. No, it isn't. Yeah, it's That's all a black. Filter. Well, delete that, please. All right. Go look. Go look in the bathroom. It's right here. I believe you. I used yep. the... You just stand over it and you pee. Did you remember yes. to flush? Can't flush. It's just a hole in the ground there, dear. With air blowing up to your... Back you up at you. Well, yeah. See, look at the back of the building. You got a vent right through there. Yep. Blowing right up to your what you call it. That's what I should have is an umbrella. I need an umbrella. How's everybody feeling? Good, very tired, very hot. Right, and then two degrees was 106 when we started. How was the walk? Good. Very, very different. Kind of difficult. Challenging. Challenging. Yes. That's my word. Everybody did a good job. But how yes. was the view? Excellent views. View was the view worth the walk? Yes. Yes, Me. in the end. <laughs> when yeah, you got to the downhill right. and the shade? When I got to the shade. <laughs> it's all about perseverance and the, the view at the end. Exactly. The ends justify the means. Yes, that. And I smell like the east end of a westbound bear. And the Ew. encouragement from other people helps. <coughs> yeah, thank you, dear. So obviously we're at our hotel now. This lighting is horrendous. Cheapest hotel today and the nicest hotel today. It's like a full suite. Hi everybody. Uh, Hello. We got a little bit of a kitchen net over here. We took a little swim in the pool and jacuzzi and now we're calling it a night. I'm about to unload some footage onto the hard drive out of the four cameras that I have here and call tonight. Got the hunger man in the microwave. Hungry? That's what I said. Hunger man. Did I say hunger man? Yep. Got the hunger man in the microwave. Dinner's done. It's weird that it's so cheap because we're literally in downtown Moab, Utah and it's like summertime, peak time. But is it peak time here? Moab's a tourist town, so it's convenient that uh, we got this beautiful suite and it's the cheapest motel that we've had this week so far. Hungry Man's done. I'm gonna chow. See you guys in the next video.